Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming Four. Welcome to the first episode of my mini series about creating unturned NPCs. Now, most of this series is not actually going to happen inside of Unturned, because pretty much how you create them is all file based. So, I'll be showing you guys how to do that. Now, if you guys don't know how to get to your unturned game files, um, I will show you now quickly, and you should know how to do that as a map maker. It's really important. So we want to start by going to our local file. So we want to right click unturned inside our library, go to properties, go to local files, and browse local files. Now you guys can find them uh, just by scrolling through your file system. That is another good way to find this, but that is a really quick way with Steam that will find you them every time. So I would suggest using this. Now all the data for your NPCs and pretty much everything else, all the objects and assets like that in Unturned are stored in bundles. So if you guys want to check that out on your own time, there's a lot of other stuff in here, but we're going to be focusing on the NPC folder inside the bundles folder. Now, once you get into here, we got uh, characters, dialogues, quests, and vendors. I will be going over all of these in uh, eventual later videos, but today I'm just going to be focusing on how to create the character and not even going to go into dialogue because that gets pretty complicated as well. So let's get into our characters folder, and as you can see, we have all the different types of NPC characters right here. Now, if you guys want to make your own, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is create a new folder and we're gonna call it new NPC and you need to have certain files inside of it now I'll be showing you guys what those files are here in a second but for now I'm going to set up our new NPC folder here and we can start comparing it to what these other NPC folders have inside them so let's say we want to create a medic NPC so here we are inside of the medic NPC and there's pretty much two files that make up your base NPC. There's an asset.dat and an english.dat. Now what's interesting about what Nelson does is pretty much all of his uh, assets have these two and these just contain information about them. So obviously if you want to create one we need to have our own asset and english.dat files. So I'm gonna copy and paste these over here and we're gonna need to modify what's inside them because right now all we do is create another medic NPC and we don't want to create a medic one we want to create our own so inside the asset uh, dot dat file we pretty much have um, basic information about your NPC um, including what type it is uh, that's really important you need to make sure that the type is NPC otherwise you're gonna be trying to create a different type of asset also uh, you need an ID in there so pretty much the ID field is gonna be uh, unique to your NPC so that your computer can tell which one it is. Now we're going to actually to change this. Um, we're going to change it to a high number that Nelson probably hasn't used yet and we're going to change it to 3000. Now as a modder or a map maker or not really a map maker but some sort of object creator this is a common practice. You don't want to overlap objects and IDs with ones that Nelson's already had otherwise your game won't be able to tell if, they're tr if you're trying to use your custom one or Nelson's that's already been created so make sure to make your own unique ID numbers for your NPCs also we've got shirt and pants here uh, those are I think those are the only two things that you can um, customize your NPC with actually you should be able to have some sort of hat in there and we'll look at other examples to see if we actually can do that but pretty much this is the ID of the actual item um, let's go to the ID list and unturned bunker this is my favorite page I will have it in the description and we go to clothing and let's go to shirts let's see it's using 311 right now so if we scroll through here we can see 311 is medic top so using this we can actually customize what our NPC is gonna wear so let's give him a white t-shirt and in terms of pants let us give him um, corduroy shorts 228 all right so that's pretty much how that works. Now we've also got hair. Um, this gets a little more complicated because this has to do with customizing your own character. So you can use any sort of hair number. I think, I'm not sure what it goes up to, but I know it starts at uh, one or zero, I think. So um, this customizes with hair, I would experiment with that. Um, I don't think in here there is uh, anything that has to do with like actual hairstyles and stuff like that. They may add that eventually. 
who knows um, actually it looks like there are some stuff here already so let's see yeah there's some documentation on this we've got no hair which is zero hair one um, actually if we click on these okay it doesn't look like there's anything on them yet but maybe eventually there will be if uh, you know people contribute to this wiki so let's give our guy a ponytail that would be hair 16 and of course you guys definitely test this out before you finish making your NPC because we don't know what this looks like quite yet uh, we also have color of the skin and color of the hair now what's interesting about this is this is hexadecimal now if you guys look up a uh, hexadecimal color picker uh, you should find something like an HTML color picker this is uh, really useful actually because you can pretty much create any color of skin or hair using this so let's say we want um, an average skin color maybe a darker brown something like that um, we can see that the color is number 996633 so if we want that color for the skin we can just put it in there and now he'll have a nice brown color for his skin also nice thing about this site uh, the W3 schools one is that there's a bunch of different shades so if you want to mess with it make it a little lighter a little darker you can do all sorts of stuff with that alright in terms of the color of the hair uh, we've got this right here let's make it a nice uh, blonde or something like that yeah something like that would be nice and we'll give it let's, let's use one of the lighter ones here alright guys so besides the color of the skin and color of the hair there's actually a lot of other options here and uh, all the ones I found right now that are new are I'm cu currently commenting out and actually to comment in this uh, it's pretty simple guys just put a f double forward slash and that'll create a comment which essentially what a comment does is it's a part of you know a uh, text that is ignored when um, you're running your NPC or when the game is loading it so it's pretty much for other people to see and uh, pretty much tell what you were trying to do I guess so it's a good place to put maybe like who made it and what you're trying to do when you're creating him alright so let's go over some of these new uh, commands here kind of that we can add to our NPC um, let's go from the top uh, this one it starts with hat this one's pretty simple you put hat and then the ID of the hat which uh, in this case we put a red cap um, we got glasses as well and we put glasses down space the ID of the glasses you want which uh, this is a headlamp um, you could also put realizing it but you could also put a uh, vest and then put the ID of the vest that you want um, I'm actually not gonna put a vest but just know that that is an option there you can also put backpack and we'll give him a backpack what type of backpack let's do black day pack okay so that's pretty much it uh, we've got all of these pretty much as options that we can equip our character with now let's move on to some of the fe other features of like their face and stuff so we've got a beard feature and actually there is documentation on this you have to go to miscellaneous and then go to NPC and you can actually see different face types different hair types and different beard types so we're gonna use a beard of let's say I th we got 16 here which I think is just a goatee I saw it here yeah goatee here and we also are gonna be using a face of 16 which is some sort of smile I'm pretty sure or hallucinating okay well we don't have to do that let's do eh, that'll work for us yeah we can do that it'll be some sort of face also we've got uh, two two more commands that have to do with what pose and what kind of position your character or NPC is in we've got pose um, and it's literally pose space the position you want them to be in um, as far as I know there's only standing and sitting I've not seen an NPC that has been created before that is actually laying down but uh, if you do want him to stand up leave it blank don't even add the pose command in there if you want him to sit down just do pose space sit and that definitely makes him sit down also there's the backward command now this one's a standalone there's nothing else you have to do with this but what it does do is it switches um, whether he's right-handed or left-handed now this only makes a difference if you are equipping weapons or items to them and that's pretty much what this next section is all about so uh, we can do many things here so we've got secondary primary tertiary um, and we've got equipped tertiary as commands I've found now 
Uh, I'm going to explain all of these. This pretty much sets up what secondary weapon or item they have. Uh, I think it pretty much has to be a weapon or a melee, something you can actually fight with, and it'll actually show it equipped on their hip, where they usually show, you know, an equipped weapon like that. So we're going to give them a Cobra. Um, we're going to equip them with a primary as well. So we're going to use primary 18. That works pretty much the same way. Um, you just put primary space what you want their primary to be, and that'll show up on their back. Um, so I think I give them some sort of sniper rifle. Uh, yeah, Timberwolf here. So he's going to have a Timberwolf on his back. We also have Tertiary, which um, this pretty much is any other miscellaneous item that you can hold. Uh, it's not going to be in a slot, per se. So it's not going to be in your one or two slot, but it's got to be something else you can hold. And 333 is binoculars. Now, what the equipped one does is it tells the character to hold one of the secondary, primary, or tertiary. So what equipped tertiary will do is uh, it'll leave the guns on his back, but he'll be holding the binoculars in his hand. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use uh, equipped primary and actually have him hold the uh, the sniper in his hands. All right, so we're, it's about time for testing. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, so take a quick look at it. Maybe pause the video if you want to write some of this stuff down yourself. If you want to take notes on it, that's actually a good idea because it'll help you remember that for the future. So anyway, let's get into testing it inside a map. All right, guys, so here we are in a test map of mine that I use for pretty much everything. And I've got a couple NPCs in front of us, and these will pretty much give you some idea of the examples that we've got here. And um, pretty much... You can see our test NPC right here. Uh, it actually showed up. Once you add the assets and the English dot dat, both of those, you will be able to see your NPC show up inside of the editor. Now you may need to restart unturned. Uh, that's normal, but um, you know you will be able to see those pretty soon. So we also have a bunch of other uh, NPCs here as well, and each of these has a pretty unique aspect about them. Um, so pretty much, this is our test NPC. Uh, he's He's a good sketch boy right now, and he's pretty much got everything we wanted him to have. Um, he's got the pants. They're kind of hard to see because he's sitting. He's got the shirt. He's got the cap. He's got the headlamp. He's got the backpack, and he has the cobra and the uh, the sniper, uh, the timber wolf. So only one thing is actually kind of wrong at this point. Uh, he did not equip the primary, and I was actually wondering if this was going to happen. So these two over here are security lookouts, and both of these were the ones I found the equip tertiary command from. Now I think the equip only works with tertiary. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't work the others, but it could just be a coding thing Nelson hasn't implemented yet, or he doesn't want them to implement. Um, and so this is what equipped tertiary looks like when you're using binoculars. They sort of hold it out in front of them. So that's what I was hoping they was going to do with guns, but apparently that doesn't work. So, you know, maybe you can, we'll test that with the secondary, you know, when we get back in here, maybe later, but, um, yeah, so that's pretty much up, what's up with that. Um, in terms of this guy, he's got, uh, P. Risco, he's got a katana equipped as a primary on his back, uh, he just has primary with the katana ID there, um, what's special about Commander Lawrence is that he had the backward command on him, and as you guys can see, he's got the cobra, uh, equipped on the right side of his body inside of the instead of the left as you can see trader major Leonard has it equipped on the left so that's pretty much what the backward does backward command does you know that's the main thing also our test NPC also has the sniper on the right side of his body instead of the left so that's sort of what backwards does and you know that's our NPC so far looking pretty good um, it's pretty in-depth I'm gonna now go in game and we'll see if we can actually talk to this guy. Okay guys, so here I am in the test map and here's our NPC. It looks like uh, he showed up pretty well inside the actual game. And we do have a talk symbol. And what is kind of cool as well is uh, by default the NPCs will sort of rotate their heads to follow you. Um, I don't know if there's any way to turn that off or turn it on. Uh, I think that's sort of a default thing right now. But let's try to talk to him. As you guys can see, we can't. I'm pressing F and nothing is happening. And that is because we do not have a dialogue set up yet. So uh, that'll pretty much be the next video. And I'm going to test one more thing with trying to equip the secondary so that he holds it out. And besides that, that'll be pretty much it. Alright guys, so we're back in our map uh, one last time. And as you guys can see... Uh, the equipped secondary did not work. 
Um, so pretty much all I've got to conclude from this is that uh, the only equipped tertiary will work. So um, also I'm not sure if that'll work with other items that you can hold or just binoculars. So that'll be something to test out in the future as well. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to at least start creating your NPC. As I said before, the next video will be about dialogues and how to set those up. And, you know, we'll go from there, probably to quests and vendors next. So anyway, guys, please like the video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.